All right, we're here to talk about essential oils in the kitchen. This is a super exciting topic. We've been waiting for this for over a month. This has been in the works and we're just so excited to be here to talk with you about this today. How many of you have upcoming holiday celebrations with family that you're stressed out about? Um, maybe you're feeling like you wanna stay happy, calm and healthy through the winter. Um, as the winter months come, we are exposed to a lot of things that um, we might end up feeling under the weather. So we want to prevent that as much as possible. Um, also, glowing skin. We want to have a glowing skin, a happy heart, um, and just stay balanced and happy, right? Who doesn't want that? So we're going to talk about that and how you can take care of all of that um, with essential oils in the kitchen. At the end, we're going to do a giveaway for a surprise oil among those who joined us live. And I'll talk about the health benefits of that oil, which is going to be really cool. So stay tuned to the end. And um, I'm going to go ahead and introduce Luca Leonti. He is a fabulous, fabulous member of our Thriving Oil Life team. He is a holistic health coach. He's passionate about helping people just live better, more healthy lives. And he is also a doTERRA wellness advocate and an essential oil educator. So we are thrilled to have him here today to do a cooking demonstration for us at the end and to teach us a little bit about essential oil safety in the kitchen and how to cook with your oils. So he'll be coming up next. Thank you so much. Um, I'm going to go ahead and talk about what are essential oils and all the little basics that go along with that. And for those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Laurel Shoemaker, and I'm a diamond wellness advocate with doTERRA and a master essential oil educator. I've been using these oils for, oh, eight years now. And the day that my sister put the balance blend on me, I was having, I was struggling with anxiousness and nervousness, um, very highly stressful job in the DC area. And I had all of the health issues that go along with a high stress life. Um, so you can imagine. And when she put the balance blend on me, it was like everything melted away. Um, all the concerns and nerves and stress and everything. And it just not to be dramatic, totally changed my life and I've never looked back. So essential oils are a staple in our home. Uh, we always go to essential oils first in our home. So hopefully that's what we can um, teach all of you as well. All right, so who's in the mood for glowing skin, a happy tummy, healthy heart, more energy, staying calm and healthy through the holidays. Those are all topics that we're gonna to touch on today. Using essential oils, this is gonna be a very basic essential oil knowledge, um, and then some fun in the kitchen. So what are essential oils? That is something that I had no idea how to answer eight years ago. I knew that essential oils uh, were sold at the grocery store and that maybe lavender was good for helping with calming and putting it in my laundry. I knew absolutely nothing else. And I think a lot of people come to essential oils with a very basic knowledge, if any. So just briefly, I'm going to touch on what they are. They are volatile aromatic compounds. And that sounds very technical. But basically what that means is they um, can be, they can be vaporized. They, um, will disappear into the atmosphere if you leave the caps open. They're volatile aromatic compounds. And they come from the bark, stems, seeds, roots, all the different parts of the plant, depending on the plant. And what they do after the plant is harvested and the right part of the plant is taken, they put it into water, they heat it up, and you know, oil separates from water, they scoop that off the top, that's how you get an essential oil. There's a lot more science that goes into um, distilling the right types of com you know, naturally occurring chemical compounds out of the plant. Um, so we're not gonna go into that today. If you want more in-depth knowledge, you can check doTERRA's website. Um, you can check out sourcetou.com as well. Um, but just know that doTERRA takes great pains in distilling their essential oils so that they are the most pure, the most potent in the world. 
Um, also, what are essential oils? They are the lifeblood of the plant. They're essentially the plant's immune system. If you were to take a little peppermint leaf and put it under a microscope, you would see these little hairs all over it. And then among the little hairs, you would see these oil sacs. So those are the essential oil sacs on the leaf. And the hairs are actually there to protect the oil because the oil is so important to the plant's immune system. It protects the plants from pests and disease. And so those are the benefits that we get from that. They have, plants have developed these naturally occurring chemical compounds over a millennia. And the naturally occurring chemical compounds are what we get to take benefit from. So for example, and they can have hundreds of compounds. So for example, lavender has over 200 known compounds. That means lavender has over 200 different things it can do for us. All right, so that's what essential oils are in a nutshell. Oh, and by the way, citrus oils are cold pressed from the rind. So they're essentially raw. You wouldn't wanna keep your citrus oils in a hot car or anything like that. And they do have a shelf life of about four to five years. Um, but if you still have a bottle of lemon on your shelf <laughs> in five years, you're absolutely not using it. I go through a bottle of lemon every other month or so, if not every month, because I put it in my water for detoxifying and cleansing. So, um, and then the other oils that aren't citrus oils, they're not raw. As long as they are kept in a, um, a dark place, that's why they're in the amber glass, um, and you know, just taken care of, not the caps aren't loose so that it, um, evaporates out of there or anything like that, they can last for a millennia. They found alabaster jars with frankincense and myrrh and other essential oils in King Tut's tomb that are still viable 2,000 years later. And we now have the technology where we can take a look at that oil and see if the chemical compounds are still in there and if they're viable. So isn't that cool? That's what essential oils are. Um, so we can gain so many health benefits from essential oils. We can use them topically to soothe skin irritations. We can promote healthy digestion. I'm gonna talk a little bit about the three ways to use essential oils. We can support our healthy immune function, promote restful sleep, alleviate occasional stomach upset, and so much more. I mean, the health benefits, like I said, lavender is over 200 known compounds and 200 different things it can do for us. They're just, you know, the list goes on and on and on. And so it really comes down to what are your specific health needs that we can help you with. We want to help you feel better. Uh, so we really want to talk with you about that and customize um, the oils that can help you. So let's talk a little bit about the emotional benefits of essential oils. This for me has been the top thing. Um, they are really beneficial for calming the mood, energizing the body, the mind. They're very soothing to the, the mind, getting us ready for bed at night, um, calming down those busy thoughts so we can actually get to sleep, um, calming us down if we have a big presentation coming up at work. They can help us with focus and concentration. They're really phenomenal for our emotions. So why doTERRA essential oils? Most essential oils on the market are 100% synthetic. Isn't that scary? And then why would I want to diffuse that oil so it's going into my lungs? Why would I want to put that onto my skin so that it is getting into my bloodstream? Um, essential oils, you know, we, we cook with plants. We are getting trace amounts of essential oils. They work with our body's natural chemistry, but most essential oils out there are, can actually be quite harmful. So doTERRAs are certified pure therapeutic grade. That just means that if it has CPTG on the label, it has passed all of doTERRA's rigorous quality control from um, planting the seed to the actual harvesting of the plant, the distilling of the plant, and then making it to doTERRA's warehouse. Once it's there, it, every single batch is tested by third party testing um, what are they called, companies, <laughs> third-party testers. Um, doTERRA also does in-house testing. And so let's talk a little bit about Source2U. 
but CPTG just means that the right part of the plant is in there because a lot of times companies will throw the whole plant in to get a higher yield, but that will change the, the resulting chemical makeup of the oil. A lot of times weeds can be harvested with the plant and that can actually become highly concentrated along with the oil and be very harmful to somebody who might be allergic to that. So there's just a lot that goes into quality control measures and doTERRA makes sure that every single batch has the right chemical compounds in there and has absolutely nothing else in there that shouldn't be in there. Sometimes companies will add in a compound that is desirable for a therapeutic benefit, but that is added in synthetically. If you add anything to the oil, you are diminishing the quality of the oil. So what's really cool about doTERRA is um, this website source2u.com. You can type in the ID number of the batch of oil. If you look on the bottom of the bottle, um, this is actually a bottle that I typed in today of a Melaleuca that I had sitting on my table. And you type that number in, you can click on the PDF and see the test results. So these are the results of that bottle of Melaleuca um, that I had sitting on my table. Do you know any other company out there that has that kind of transparency? I don't think so. Are you gonna get that from a bottle that you pick up off the shelf at Whole Foods? I don't think so. What this means here, what these numbers are, these are the different chemical compounds that are found in that bottle of Melaleuca. So doTERRA is always looking for a standardized um, type of compounds and number of those types of compounds within that bottle of oil. So that you know every time you pick up that bottle, you're gonna have the same benefit from batch to batch to batch. So that's why doTERRA is so cool as an essential oil company. Um, the integrity of the company is just tremendous. So there are three ways to use essential oils. You can use them aromatically. You've probably heard of aromatherapy. Anytime you're breathing an oil in, you are using them aromatically. So if you're just breathing it from the bottle, that's aromatically. I love to put a drop in my palms and rub my palms together and then cup those over my nose and mouth as a sort of like a on-the-go aromatherapy, but when you're using them aromatically, you're getting the benefits for, um, for the mind. That's my favorite way, and it's also the fastest way to get essential oils into the body. Um, great for calming the mind, cleansing the air of bugs that might be floating around that you don't want people to catch. Um, just a really fabulous way to use essential oils. Topically, you're gonna to wanna to use them anywhere you're having an issue. So if you're having occasional aches and pains, or let's say you have like um, sore neck muscles, stiff, stiff neck tension, just put it directly where you're having um, the issue. If you're gonna be using some of the oils that are considered hot, like thyme or oregano, um, you'll definitely wanna dilute those before putting them on your skin. And then also for little kids or pets, you want to dilute them. And then internally, this is very specific to doTERRA's essential oils with the CPTG, source to you, all that transparency. So you know it's safe to use internally. There are some oils you don't want to use internally, like um, wintergreen, arbor vitae, but it'll say right on the side of the bottle. And in fact, the ones that are for internal use um, as well as aromatic and topical use, will have a little supplemental facts label on the bottle. So you know, it's just really easy to pick it up, take a look at it. Okay, this one I can use internally. So internally, that is for targeted wellness of the cleansing organs, the, all the internal organs, um, but especially the digestive tract. So I really love to use the Digest Zen blend, for example, or peppermint, um, any of the oils that are soothing calming to any kind of stomach upset, I use those internally. But then I also rub it on my belly. And then the, oh, I forgot to mention, the bottoms of the feet topical use sounds really weird, but the bottoms of the feet are a great place to put essential oils because some of the largest pores in the body are there. A lot of nerve endings that correspond to different parts of the body are there. So it's just a great place to put essential oils as well. So those are the three ways to use them. Oh, internally, um, 
I drink oils in my water all day long. You want to make sure you're not putting them into plastic. So don't add them to your plastic water bottle or anything like that. Use um, ceramic or glass or stainless steel. Um, you can also use empty vegetable capsules and make your own little uh, supplements. And you can, I, I love to just drop it right under my tongue depending on the oil. Um, for those of you who are brand new to essential oils, I may not recommend that right away, kind of build yourself up to that. But um, I put essential oils directly under my tongue a few times a day. I love to do frankincense, even the On Guard blend um, to boost my immune system, help with um, my body's healthy inflammatory response. There are just so many uses. So let's talk a little bit about our wellness supplements that are infused with essential oils. I know a lot of you probably are already taking supplements. You might be spending two to $300 a month to try to get everything that you need. Um, the thing with supplements is that they are all over the place in quality on the market, just like essential oils. Oteras are 100% natural. They're made from powdered fruits and vegetables, so they're really easy for our bodies to um, to digest as well as absorb the nutrients. Um, so, so many of us are walking around with nutrition deficiencies, nutrient deficiencies. Our foods have been looked have been bred to look good and taste good, but not for nutrition. The nutrition has actually been bred out of them um, in this country. So. It's become really imperative for overall health, for longevity, for the aging process, um, for cellular health, energy, sleep, moods. It's become so important to supplement. Um, look at these numbers. Look how many people are walking around with vitamin D deficiencies, vitamin E, magnesium, vitamin A, calcium, vitamin C. That's just the top deficiencies, okay? So it has become absolutely imperative for overall health. Um, to supplement. And so that's what these are. What happens when we don't meet our daily nutrient requirements, more serious issues can arise. Existing conditions can worsen. Unpleasant problems, including weak bones, cardiovascular problems, etc., can result. And your body is deprived of vitamins and minerals that could be used to help with proper functioning. So again, these are the lifelong vitality supplements. What's really cool is doTERRA gives a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you can try them risk-free. They are designed to promote health, energy, and longevity while supporting wellness throughout the aging process. So many people have told me that these are the number one product. In fact, this is the number one selling product of an essential oil company um, because of the health benefits that people see from taking them. For me, I no longer needed the balance blend, which helped me with my anxiousness and nervousness from the stress. My ability to manage stress, and I no longer felt like I was on an emotional roller coaster taking these. Um, base nutrition for sleep support, stress management, um, helping with aches and pains. It's just an incredible product. So I urge you at some point in your life, um, if not tomorrow, <laughs> to start taking these because it is base nutrition for overall health. And, and by the way, they really help to enhance the effectiveness of the essential oils. So take that into consideration. Also, um, for everything that you're going to get in these supplements, you'd be spending two to $300 a month to try to you know, in equivalent benefits and ingredients. So, oh, I just had a pop up. Hope that didn't pop up on your end. Um, these are $79.50 for a month's supply, and I do know people who take um, half the dose, and so it stretches out to two months. Um, and you can try them risk free for 30 days. They really are amazing supplements. So, I'm going to turn things over to Luca. And by the way, if you have any questions about anything I just mentioned or went over, um, write that down. We'll come back to that at the end. So Luca, we're so excited to hear from you about why cooking with essential oils and how to cook with essential oils and to see some of your fabulous recipes. Thank you, Roberto, for this great introduction and for introducing everybody to the oils so simply. Um, yeah, the oils are really great. 
there's natural gifts and I've just been loving, I love cooking in general, but since using the oils, it's just been turning my uh, little dishes with the treats around and it's also pleasing everyone around me. Um, so I'm just going to touch back on some of the things that Loel has already mentioned, um, but why cooking with essential oils? Besides the great benefits that they gave us, <clears throat> just so they help us clean, cleanse and repair our cells and many body systems, which in turn makes our outside look fabulous, right? Because if your inside is going well, then it's going to show your skin is going to get clearer, you're going to get more energy, you may lose some unwanted fat, um, you have less pain in your joints, less pain in your muscles and in your body, and you know, who, who does not want that? Um, they're also super convenient to use, right? So have you ever been like halfway through making dinner and you realize that you forgot such a spice or such an herb, and you're like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? Or maybe you, you don't have anything and you don't have time to run to the store. Or maybe you're one of those persons like me who likes to cook with fresh ingredients, but sometimes, you know, they're not in season, so what are you going to do? So this is why I use uh, essential oils, because they are convenient, they use, they are, sorry, they're easy to use. Um, they smell amazing, like, it is a real thing. Um, and they're also really, really potent. In fact, <coughs> sorry, um, essential oils are 50% to 70% more potent than herbs and spices. So you only need half a drop to one drop to get the equivalent of what you would use uh, in herbs. And there are 60 drops of essential oils in one teaspoon. Um, so like I said, they are natural and safe, um, and they give you endless combinations, and they're also cost-effective because you, don't, you won't want to use more than two drops in any dish. It's all, this is all you need um, for, to reap all the internal benefits. And they last longer, right? You can keep them, like uh, Laurel said, they're citrus oils up to four to five years. And if they're not citrus oils, for your whole your lifetime, if you keep them in the dark, um, cool place. And also another great thing about them is they have no calories. <laughs> you can have them as a gift free. <laughs> um, where are you? Uh, measurement. I'm going to just touch in quickly on the safety. I don't know if this, that's the slide after or before. I didn't see. Nope. So anyways, I'm just going to talk about safety. Um, so there are some oils that you cannot use internally. And like Laurel said, uh, it will be written on the bottle. Uh, and there are other oils like oregano that we'll be using later that you need to either dilute if you use them topically, or uh, I'll show you over later, or you need, you need to use what we call the toothpick method, because you only want to use just a little bit. They are so potent. They're actually called hot oils because of their potency. Um, and so this is also one of the reasons you don't want to use plastic containers, uh, but rather glass, ceramic, or stainless steel to avoid damage due to the oil potency. I would also recommend that you only add the oils to your hot dishes afterwards, right when you're about to serve, because the hot, uh, sorry, the heat may evaporate all the molecules and all the oils before you have a chance to eat it. Uh, I think I'll touch about this. Okay, now I'm. I think I'm on the next slide, yes. <laughs> uh, and I'm just going to make this a little smaller because I can't read everything. There you go. So citrus oils that are good for beverages are lemon, grapefruit, um, wild orange. For spices, you can use, um, help me please, Laurel, <laughs> cinnamon bark. Um, I'm blanking all of a sudden. Um, cinnamon, ginger. Thyme. Thyme, rosemary, oregano, basil. Oh, wait, spices? Oh, that's hmm. not spices, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cinnamon, Cinnamon, clove, ginger, cassia. Clove, cassia, yes. Cardamom. The On Guard blend. The On Guard, oh, Cardamom, yeah. what a great one. I love cardamom. <laughs> that's one of my favorites as well. 
<laughs> uh, for the herbs, rosemary, basil, oregano, thyme, dill. Uh, for the floral oils, lavender. <laughs> um, I don't really cook with floral oils, so I'm not quite sure. I would say even neroli. So like neroli, neroli comes is the flower of the wild orange plant. Um, that is, it's beautiful. It's very soft, citrusy kind of floral. Um, magnolia would be fun. That's one of our new oils. No, um, other than that, I think maybe rose and lavender. Yeah. And for our mint oils, you would want to try peppermint or spearmint. Um, for example, and I think I'm going to have to stand up. Yes. So let me see. Just tell me if you can't really see what I'm doing. Because I don't, right. I can't see what you can see. So I'm not sure. I'll tell you if we can see. We can actually see you're standing up now. We can see you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, there. Now we can see the table. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so uh, oh, I'm gonna stop. Okay, so uh, sorry, real quick. Here's what he, um, here's what he's gonna demonstrate today: lemon water, balm tea, which is something that is um, it will keep you well. Like if you start to feel under the weather, uh, herbal tea infused with oils. Start your day like a champ smoothie. I'm so excited to learn about that one. Overnight oats, everyday vinaigrette, which can be used with a, with salad dressing or marinade, etc. A quick pizza dinner and chocolate power bite. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stop the share of this so that we can just focus on you and what you're doing. Okay. <laughs> just again, I forgot to get some stuff. Um, all right. So first I'm going to start by the lemon water, which actually this is the, <coughs> the single most beneficial thing you can do for your body, for your overall health, uh, using the oils or with, even without using the oils. Um, because water is so important for our bodies, right? So if you even just drinking 60, uh, 16 ounces of water upon waking up before breakfast, before you have any food, just doing this, um, that will start up your metabolism, rehydrate your body, flush out toxins, fuel your brain, promote bowel movement, support your immune system, and much more. So you're only amplifying all of those great benefits with the oils. So usually what I do in the morning, I just warm up some water. I'm just gonna get some over here. I warm up my water, it takes just like a few seconds. It's just like pretend this is like 16 ounces. Um, and then I take my lemon <laughs> and I put two drops. And also like to use grapefruit, which is also great for um, session out toxins. And I forgot it, <laughs> but I just put those two and I just uh, drink this hot or warm because that's the way I like it. But you know, you're welcome to try it either way. And it tastes amazing. Um, I'm sorry, I also add this apple cider vinegar. I totally forgot. I think I'm a little nervous because this is my first webinar and I just like <laughs> go a little too fast. But I use this. <laughs> which I will show you in the next uh, one that I'm making. How many, um, uh, so I, what do you do, like a tablespoon? Of the apple cider vinegar, I usually just fill the cap because it is strong and this is how much I can handle for now. <laughs> so I put on the cap, I put in my 16 ounces of water and then I put two drops of lemon and um, two drops of grapefruit oil. And if I don't have grapefruit, I use tangerine. Cool. And then you kind of like stir it up before you drink it? I stir it up and then drink it. Cool. And then after that, just so I'm not going to make this, but I just want to show you, you can also I don't know, uh, add oils to your herbal teas. Like for example, here I have mint, like a, so I could add another drop of peppermint, which actually one drop of peppermint is the equivalent of 28 cup of, cups of tea. So if you like, strong peppermint tea, you can definitely add uh, one drop of this. Um, then depending on, you know, a lemon, you could use lemon, which is over here, or with a berry one, you can use lavender. 
Uh, also, wild orange works well in teas. Um, and the peppermint great. would be really great for digestion and waking you up. Yeah. It's just a great addition to to your tea or any cooking. Yeah, recipe. just remind me that I've not been telling you guys about the benefits of the oils. <laughs> a little bit going a little too fast again, but yes. So lemon is for naturally cleansing your body. It also supports your respiratory system. So if you have allergies, um, lemon is a great choice, along with peppermint and lavender. It also promotes a positive mood. Lavender uh, helps his feelings of tension. It also helps with your skin. And it can, it can, it can also help you with anxious feelings. So this. And then peppermint, like Darrell said, is great for indigestion, also for allergies and headaches and motion sickness. By the way, I learned today that, so one of my friends is a dog trainer and she uses ginger oil for motion sickness for the, for the dog. And I thought that was pretty cool. All right, let me just put this away. Um, so then I like to do, so what I call the bomb tea is actually a immune booster when my friends are sick. Like for example, so what I do is I use hot water that I'm gonna get right now. I'm still here. And then I add some honey. I'm just gonna use this one. Like I, I usually put like uh, one tablespoon or less. I guess it just depends on how sweet you like it. Again, I put apple cider vinegar. Same thing, like I would put like half a teaspoon. Actually, let me get this. And this works great. So one of my friends, he was out for two or three weeks, just coughing. So he just wanted to sleep. He had no energy, sore throat, didn't want to go to the doctors. He just kept telling me, I'm fine. I just need to rest. And I just need to rest and drink water. And after three weeks, I told him that something else must have been going on, but he didn't want to go to the doctors. So I made, it, made him this tea to drink. And then I add lemon. So again, like one to two, dro one to two drops. Then I use, with my ginger? Ginger, which has become my favorite because I use it all the time, especially in the morning. So ginger supports your digestion. I'm gonna put two drops. It's also helpful with uh, bloating, gas, and occasional indigestion, nausea. And like I mentioned earlier, motion sickness. So I just put those two and then I put on guard which is a blend um, and it has wild orange, clove, cinnamon, rosemary, and eucalyptus. And let me just take my cheat sheet over here. <laughs> um, so this is actually you would use for keeping the germs away. Ah, oh, there you go. So it supports a healthy immune system, protects against environmental seasonal threats like germs, especially if you work, like I used to be a school teacher, so this was very helpful in the classroom. It also pur purifies your skin and promotes healthy circulation. And it smells amazing. And I just put, again, one or two drops. I stir and then I recommend if you're sick, if you're under the weather, you drink this two to three times a day. And then I would also suggest that you use the same three oils in a roller uh, mixed with um, fractionated coconut oil, not regular coconut oil, because the regular coconut oils, the molecules are too big. So the, you will, actually the oils wouldn't be able to go through them, so you won't, be, you won't get any benefit. Um, so this is why we use fractionated coconut oil and to roll it under your feet before you go to sleep and also when you wake up in the morning, just as an immune, as an added immune boost. Uh, 
Yeah, this is just like terrific. I love it. Can't wait to try so it. Am I going too fast? <laughs> no, not at all. No? Okay. What am I making next? Oh, let's see. Uh, the vinaigrette. Is it? Yeah, oh, I think no. so. Oh, no, it's this movie. Oh, now I'm just want to drink this. Oh, also, like I'm super hot already. <laughs> so while he's getting that prepared, I tell you, I have been making a smoothie every single day for myself and my husband. Um, using doTERRA's Slim and Sassy Trim Shake. I love the chocolate version, but it also comes in a vegan version if you don't do dairy. Um, and that's made with pea protein. I do a scoop of the Terra Greens, um, a bunch of kale, some romaine, and I've been adding pink pepper essential oil, just um, one drop along with green mandarin. Those two new oils, fabulous. Um, great for the metabolism. And then, you know, um, other fruits that I have on hand, but especially apple. Apple's really good in a smoothie. But the reason I'm telling you this, oh, and two of the probiotics, the, um, the doTERRA PB Assist Junior. So it's the probiotics, but it's the kids version, which are like little pixie sticks, but they are um, uh, sweetened naturally. And so it adds a natural sweetness as well as probiotics to the smoothie. And I add two because it's one for me and one for my husband. But I skipped a day last week and he told me at the end of the night, he said, why have I been wanting to eat nothing but, you know, C-R-A-P all day long? And then he realized, oh, you didn't make me a smoothie today. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> so it made him want to eat healthy all day long. That's awesome. <laughs> All right, this is what I usually do in the morning. I have to do it's either this great shake or the oats that I will show you next. So I usually put my blender is way bigger, so I'm just going to divide the recipe by two. But I usually put one banana. So I'm going to use half right now because this is smaller. Then I put some uh, berries. So I like to use uh, like blueberries, just berries, not strawberries, just because they're higher in sugar content. And I just think that that just throws me off a little bit. So I, I usually try not to get that. So I usually do like one banana and I do one cup, half a cup to one cup of berries. Just gonna put a little bit right now. I put spinach because you need green. <laughs> And actually, so spinach, for those who want to introduce uh, veggies in your smoothies, this is a great one to start with because it basically has very, it's not very flavorful. So yeah, I just put a handful. Yeah. Then I use a superfood called maca powder, which is, which is good for everything. <laughs> Uh, it's an Inca powder that they use over there, so it's also great for. So I usually use one, um, one teaspoon. Then I put a little bit of um, vanilla extract for flavor, and I forgot my turmeric oil today, but I put uh, turmeric powder. So usually I just. Whatever comes out, comes out. Uh, the thing that you should know about turmeric though is you have to couple it with black pepper to reap the benefit of the turmeric. It's like the turmeric would not work if you don't use the pepper. Just like um, for calcium, for example, if you see that you know calcium makes 45 of magnesium, it's because the calcium needs the magnesium to be able to work in your body. Without it, it just doesn't work. Is that so with the turmeric essential oil? I'm not sure, but I know it's, I would assume. Okay, because we also have black pepper essential oil. So I'll start not, combining them. I did, yeah, I did not check. I haven't checked yet. Um, so I put both. Uh, what am I forgetting? I put my maca. I think that's pretty much it. Oh, chia seeds. 
not the chassis, I meant slack seeds. They're over here. Um, so, same thing, I usually put uh, one or two tablespoons. So these are omega-3 supplement. Not supplement, no. And uh, where is it? And wild orange because it smells so <laughs> amazing. I want to say, um, and so sorry, wild orange is great for uplifting your mood. And then hold on. Uh, it's also a purifying agent inside and outside of your body, so you can use it to clean up your counter your countertop as well. Or if you have kids and you know you know kids tend to get messy. You can also use that for uh, sticky residue or grease. Um, and it's also great to just like on guard. It's, it's actually part of the on guard blend. Um, protects you against seasonal threats. So I put, usually I put a lot of that because I just love the aroma. You could also, as a, a post workout, you could add turmeric or you could use this new oil, Yarrow Palm which is a combination of yarrow and pomegranate. And it's great for, to, for, re sorry, for reducing inflammation in your body. So especially after you work out that the muscles, everything needs to be replenished in a way that is healthy to, um, to uh, I won't say compensate, but it's not compensate, but to help your body repair all, all the, Damage in a way, but the positive damage, you know, like the, I'm sorry, I can't think of the English words right now. But when, like, when you exercise, your muscles get stretched. Um, so all that tension and all. So this is a great uh, oil to use. And it's actually blue. I don't know if you will be able to see. I'm not going to put it in my smoothie, but I'm going to put it in my hand and maybe you can see. Fun fact, the blue means there, it's high okay. in shimazoline which is one of those naturally occurring chemical compounds. And shimazoline is really great for aches and pains and the body's natural inflammatory response. And so yarrow palm is just so fabulous for overall health. And it smells great. It does. All right, let me, sorry for the noise for a couple of minutes. There you go, I'm back. Like, I just say it quickly, but you know, you know what. It, it's actually not green, see? You can fool somebody. <laughs> oh, we looks like we lost Laurel. Oh, you're back. I'm still here. I have to go get my um, charger for my laptop. Oh, so just no keep worries. going. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. All right, so now, uh, actually, so I mentioned earlier when I don't, Bring this uh, food on the antioxidant and goodness movie. I do a overnight oats, which is so easy to do. So what I use is just like regular oats, whatever I can find at the supermarket. <coughs> I'm sorry. I put half a cup. In a bowl. And it's actually, you can actually do that's not my stuff. Even when you travel, so I'm pretty much vegan and sometimes it's a little tricky to find good options when I'm out traveling. So what I do is I prepare this in a um, mason jar. So that all I have to do is just find some water when I'm ready to eat it. Um, so this, then I put some chia seeds. So usually I put some I'm saying two teaspoons, I mean two tablespoons of chia. Then I add some raisins, same thing, depending. I like, I put two teaspoons, two tablespoons, sorry. I sometimes add some chocolate powder or some protein powder just for taste. 
Ha. Ah. Sorry. Stuck. There you go. So same thing is this is you know two days, so however however much you like. You can't never go wrong with chocolate anyways, right? And then uh nope. if you really like it sweet, you can add some agave syrup or maple syrup. So I usually just put a little bit. And then after that, I put my super oils. So I like to put ginger that we already talked about. So I usually put two. If you just started starting with ginger, because it is pretty strong, I would recommend only one drop, but I've been doing this for a while and actually really like it. And I put cardamom. Carbon smells really, really yummy. Uh, <laughs> and so cardamom, let me just check over here. It helps with indigestion and maintaining gas, gastro in, ah, sorry, gastrointestinal health. Um, and it also helps with respiratory health. So same thing, I put one or two. And when you use it aromatically, it also supports your mental clarity if you focus. So I do this, and then let me, sorry, I just need to grab, I forgot one thing. And then after I added everything, I stir. And see, like it takes like a couple of minutes to just do all of this. And then I either add coconut milk or water, and I stick it in the fridge. So I do this right before I go to bed. It takes me two, three minutes to stick it in the, in, oh. Well, I guess it would be water for today because this just broke. <laughs> That's just the, uh, uh, when you go live, right? The drawers are going live. So I will put water just uh, a little bit higher than what, where all the ingredients are. So then I just stir and stick it in the fridge. And then when I wake up in the morning, it's ready. I don't know if you can see. <laughs> uh, and it's, yeah, so you can put, you know, whichever kind of milk you like or water. Like I said, works well with water. Oh yeah, I broke my, so very easy to do. You can flavor it any way you want. You can add uh, nuts, fruits, um, whichever way you want to do it is totally fine. But it's just super easy. And like I said, I don't know if uh, you heard, but I like to take, put this in a mason jar when I travel because, you know, being vegetarian, vegan, sometimes it's hard to find good options. And so I just have to add water. You know, they have like, all those like ramen options, just add water, soup, you know, cup soup. So I do the same, the same thing with this. So that when I wake up, I don't have to worry. I have my little cup. And it's easier to find water than to find a, veg a vegan option. <laughs> Let me just clean up over here. All right, so oops, next I'm going to show you the vinaigrette. All right, so this is actually a vinaigrette that I, I'm sorry, I couldn't find. <laughs> I couldn't find a bowl in my super kitchen, so I'm gonna show you in here in a mug. Uh, I love, love, love making this vinaigrette for when I eat lentils. Actually, I need to rinse this really quickly. All right. And then one more thing. All right, so I use mustard, the French kind. <laughs> So I put like about like one teaspoon. Then I add some salt. So you know, I don't really count how much it is. And then I add olive oil. So usually I want 
one, I usually put two, and then I use again apple cider vinegar, and I will put half, so only one tablespoon this time. If I can open it. And then you can put some lemon also, some juice lemon, like I would put half, half a tablespoon, but I'm going to use the oil today. So I will put one or two drops of lemon oil. And then after that, basically all the spices you have in your pantry. But I especially like cumin, cinnamon, nutmeg, turmeric, and because I'm using turmeric, I gotta use black pepper. So, And we have all of those in essential oil form, except oil, yes. for cumin, which sometimes they come out with in the cooking oils over the summer. So I do actually have cumin essential oil. So what would you recommend as far as, if I were to make this with the oils, would I do the toothpick method with each one? Yes. Okay. And I can show you this also. So I don't have turmeric, so I'm just going to use this one. And then, oops, I'll add some black pepper. So I can tell, like, actually, I don't really like to follow recipes. I just follow recipe one time when I make things, and then when I do them again, I just do whatever. <laughs> I kind of know like what I like and what I don't like. So I don't have cumin, so I'm going to use cumin like this. Up, oh. uh, cinnamon. I do have cinnamon. Did I take it out yet? Oh, it's right here. Cinnamon is really strong, you guys. Really strong. I usually like one drop is way too much for me. So I'm going to take. Oh, right here. A little a bit over the place. Get this toothpick. And so for the toothpick method, you just get your toothpick and you just put it inside. And then that's it. And then you go inside and you just stir. So you put it a bit like this. This way and then um what was the other one I used? Oh, nutmeg. Nutmeg. And this is done. And I love to pour this over lentils, or like uh, Laura said earlier, you can use it as a chicken marinade. Yeah, you can smell that cinnamon. Uh, you can brush your acorn um, squash with it before sticking into the oven. I'm going to put this, I don't know, over there. <laughs> this is making me hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying this, I'm like, I didn't plan well enough because I have all these open containers. I can't take anything back home. <laughs> oh, just send it out to Oregon. I'll eat it all. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do you guys have any any questions so far? While I plan the next thing. Oh, pizza! Actually, so today was one of those days when you know you have something very important to do, and then everything else you're trying to do doesn't go well. So for my pizza, I forgot to buy all pretty much all the ingredients. I mean, all the toppings. Well, that's okay. <laughs> I mean, essentially, it's literally so, just a drop or toothpick method oregano in yeah, some, yeah. right? Yeah, so for a very, very quick pizza, and you know, if you have kids, it will take you like less than 10 minutes to do. You can use pizza bread. This is perfect size because it's small. Yeah, I'm not going to open this like because I won't be able to save it. <laughs> um, you can just like, have like a pre-made tomato sauce. 
and then to turn it into pizza or like some Italian flavors, you can use oregano. So oregano is an hot oil, so you do want to use the toothpick method, at least the first time, so you know how, you know, how much you can use or how much you like it. You can also use a rosemary, thyme. So you would, I would actually pour it in a separate container so you can mix it with the oil, then spread it on your pita bread and then add whatever toppings you want. Vegetables, meat, um, cheese, and then you can stick it in the oven for 10 minutes, and then it's ready. So like, again, like really simple. I am a fan of taste good, but it takes me less than five minutes to make. So this is what. <laughs> what would be the temperature for the oven? Uh, sorry, I was just thinking, <laughs> uh, 350. Okay, and then, oh, I'm pretty much done, right? Power oh, bites. The power bites, yes. This is the picture, like, if you've seen that posted on my groups, this is the power bite. So hold on. So for power bites, I use dates. So let me see. I'm going to use. Um, four of them. So you can think also think of them as like kind of like chocolate truffle. <laughs> they are that delicious and easy to make. So is that two? All right. So I'm gonna put two more, and this is gonna get a little messy for me. that I'm going to mix with pecans. So this is obviously for people who are not allergic. But I'm going to put half a cup. And then I'm going to use a little bit of sweetener, a little bit more of sweetener because the dates are also the sweetener over here. You could also use uh, maple syrup. So, uh, so I will put like maybe one teaspoon, and then I can readjust if I need more. And then some vanilla extract. And I usually just do a little bit. I don't really count. And then chocolate again, because <laughs> who doesn't love chocolate? <laughs> if I can open it. So I like to be very generous with my chocolate. <laughs> so I'm sorry, I need to get the olive oil out of here. So I will put anywhere from one to two tablespoons of chocolate. And then I just mix everything. I'm gonna mix it, uh, uh, I mix everything once, and then I add the oil and I mix everything again. Maybe, I don't know if you think the blender is somewhere over here, right? Um, sorry, I'm missing the top. I can't see that. Hold on. <laughs> oh, there it is. I'm sorry, let me just rinse this. It was on top of the smoothie. And this, then you can shape into little balls. 
No, I like to, I really love chocolate and wild orange, but you could use lavender, you could use peppermint, ginger, it really doesn't matter. It's up to you. Uh oh. I need to check because I usually don't use the same one. So I need to add some more, maybe syrup because it's not, it's a little too dry. But let me show you. Then it comes like a, like a paste and you can mold it and make a ball. And you're done. So it really takes a few seconds and it tastes amazing. It smells amazing, oh my gosh. <laughs> this is when you need to get me out of the kitchen. <laughs> um, let me just get a plate. On this side. And yeah, and then you just, usually um, for the recipe that I show you, will make about eight bowls. You can also, if you want, you can roll them in coconut, Hold on, let me do this. You can see me. Uh, you can roll them in coconut, uh, yeah, in coconut flakes or chia seeds. It does not matter. All right. And I think that's all of my cooking demonstration, right? <laughs> I could also show you how to do a really quick, or tell you how you can do a really quick um, chocolate sauce. Because the kids, I used to do that with my kids when I was a teacher, and that made their day. Um, that you can also use, you can use uh, an apple to dip in the chocolate. So I couldn't find the right kind of pretzels, I couldn't only find the jumbo size. Um, but I don't know if uh, some of you are familiar with, the, in France they're called Mikados. Basically they're uh, small grissinis like that, or small like pretzels pretzel sticks with one side dip in chocolate. So basically you can do the same thing with homemade chocolate. So what I use is um, olive oil, agave syrup, and chocolate powder, that's it. You just mix, the, you just mix all of this, hi doggy. <laughs> and, uh, and that's it, you get your chocolate sauce. It's wow. really potent, it's really strong. I like you, it's really dark chocolate though. So for the chocolate lovers, this is really great. That sounds fabulous. I can't yeah. wait to try all of these recipes. Thank you so much for the demonstrations and all the information. That was fabulous. I mean, especially, like I said, I'm especially excited about this vinaigrette because sometimes I find lentils to be very boring and I would love to have another way to eat them and um, just a quick way to prepare, you know, a really interesting, flavorful dinner. So. Thank you. And I no love problem. the tip about traveling with your, with your oats that you make. Yeah. That's awesome. I love that. <laughs> um, well, let me get back to this presentation real quick. We went over all of these different recipes. Um, for those of you who are, oh, I'm trying to get to the next slide. For those of you who don't yet have essential oils from doTERRA, you're probably wondering what oils should I start with? That's really gonna depend on um, what your specific health needs are. And we wanna help you um, figure that out, what oils are gonna work for you. Uh, most people start with a top 10 oils kit. You can get that in either the small bottles or the large bottles. The top 10 oils kit is going to get you the broad range of the basic essential oils that are going to help with 85% of you know, common ailments that people tend to deal with on a daily basis. And, and we can help you by giving you a protocol to follow for seven to 10 days to really target your um, number one health need to help you feeling better right away. Um, doTERRA right now, this is so cool. They are offering $50 in free oils um, for anybody who gets started with at least a hundred in product. 
Um, so either of those kits that I just mentioned, the big bottle kit or the small bottle kit of the top 10 oils are going to get you that 50 in free product. So that's on top of your savings. So with the kit, you get a wholesale account and that is good for a whole year. You never, ever, ever have to order anything ever again to get that 25% off for the year. Um, there's no selling or anything like that. You are, it's just like a Costco account. And then after a year you can renew and that's $25 and they, it, they throw in a free bottle of peppermint. So it really cancels that out. Um, but like I said, $50 in free products, this is phenomenal. I wanted to show you what $50 in free products can look like. So depending on what your health needs are or what your personal care needs are, these are um, a bunch of different things that you can look at um, as far as $50 in, in free oils, what that looks like. Um, so if you are new to oils, if you don't have any oils yet from doTERRA, um, I want to mention that for setting up a wellness consult that's complimentary to you, only takes about 10 minutes of your time, which is really not much to kind of go over what your health concerns are and match you to the oils that can help you. Um, we're going to give you a custom roller blend complimentary just for um, chatting with us about your health needs. And whether you get oils or not, you're still going to get that custom roller. So set that call up with the person who invited you to this webinar. If you're watching this in a replay, um, be sure to get with the person who invited you to watch and get that custom oil roller. So let's do a giveaway. Thank you everyone who joined live. Who's ready for a giveaway? Well, you're all muted, but I see you all waving. So that's awesome. Um, today, I'm just gonna draw out of a hat of the people who joined live. And that is Leslie, Leslie Tangerine. Have you tried Tangerine? I'm gonna unmute you real quick. I haven't. You have not tried tangerine, awesome. Okay, so tangerine is a fabulous oil, just like the citrus oils, it's uplifting to the mood. Um, it's high in antioxidants. This oil supports a, um, healthy digestion and metabolism. It's great for cleansing, um, great for the immune system and the respiratory system. It's just a really, really amazing oil. So I'm gonna get that in the mail to you, Leslie. Thank you everyone who joined us live. Um, be sure to comment below if you have any questions, if you're watching this in the replay. Thank you everyone. I'm gonna stop recording and get to your questions.